Hi, this is Dean Tagashi from GameSpeed. I'm here with uh, David from Vicarious Visions. Uh, so tell us about uh, Swap Force. Sure, so Swap Force is mm -hmm. the, the new Skylanders game coming out this fall. Mm -hmm. uh, the Swap Force are the name for 16 of the new, the 32 new characters that are in the next Skylanders game. Mm -hmm. The Swap Force are Skylanders that have been infused with the magical power to swap their abilities with each other. So you can take the top half of one Swap Force character and the bottom half of another Swap Force character mm -hmm. and combine them. So with 16 Swap Force characters, that means there's over 250 different combinations mm -hmm. that you can find with all of the Swap Force Skylanders. Uh, in Swap Force, you have a whole new story, a whole new uh, epic adventure where you and the Skylanders, as a, you as a portal master and the Skylanders are trying to defeat Chaos once again with one of his evil plans to take over the Skylands. Um, and you can use the Swap Force or 16 new regular Skylanders, so 32 total new characters in this game, um, to defeat Chaos and save the Skylands. Mm -hmm. So technically, how does that, that work when you, you sort of pull them apart and you know, mm -hmm. mix them, match them, and they, they just work? Sounds kind of magical there. It, yeah, <laughs> I, it is magical. I mean, the toys themselves mm -hmm. come apart. Mm -hmm. they, they have magnetic strength, so it's very mm -hmm. easy to take them apart and put them back together in whatever different combination you want. Mm -hmm. um, and all of your powers and upgrades combine together, so if you've uh, spent a few hours playing with the top half of, say, Magna Charge, a, mm -hmm. a magnetic Skylander who has a giant magnet on his head, mm -hmm. and you've upgraded him so he's got you know, a few extra powers, and, and then you... Uh, put his top half with the bottom half of, uh, let's say, Washbuckler, uh, the octopus pirate character who has eight octopus legs on his bottom half. Uh, all of their powers and upgrades will be saved together. You can combine those uh, traversal mechanics, those movement mechanics, the climbing ability of, of Washbuckler with the magnet uh, combat abilities of Magna Charge. Um, and it, it just works. It's magical. Mm -hmm. So it, it almost sounds like there's some kind of memory uh, in, in the two different parts of the body now, I guess. Yeah, so just mm -hmm. like with the Skylanders from Spyro's Adventure and mm -hmm. from Giants, mm -hmm. there's the what we call the brain inside mm -hmm. the toy that uh, keeps all of your, your stats and your powers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have those inside of each part on a Swap Force character mm -hmm. so that you can mix and match them and, and keep all of your statistics and such together. Mm -hmm. So there's some technical wizardry in there so that we can uh, make sure that uh, the game knows which two halves you have mm -hmm. and uh, which are combined with which so that all those over 250 different combinations are recognizable within the game. Um, but as with uh, the, the old toys that are all uh, forwards compatible into this game so you can bring any of your collection in mm -hmm. and have their upgrades and the, the progress that you made in prior games all come forward into Swap Force. Mm -hmm. and now they actually jump to so now all of your old characters, your entire collection that you have at home, now you can bring them in and actually see how they jump and how they can move around this brand new environment. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, digital technology sort of uh, looks like it's getting increasingly sophisticated in these toys, but uh, but it delivers some very simple functions, I guess. In the, in the yeah. The product yeah. is understandable. That, I mean, that's a great way of putting it. That was really our focus when we, when we set about trying to make the game, was how do we innovate in the toy? How do we bring a new experience to the toy and to the video game, but still keep that simple magic uh, that mm -hmm. was so great just this toys to life idea. I have a toy, I put it on a portal, it comes to life in the game. Mm -hmm. That's a very simple, it's, a, it's highly innovative underneath, underneath the hood, but a very simple mechanic for, for kids and everyone to grasp. And that's what we, we wanted to be able to bring a new innovation that was just as simple and as magical, mm -hmm. but actually is quite complex to pull off. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have some new competition this year from Disney Infinity. Uh, uh, how does it feel to, to sort of attract a, another gigantic you know, when, when Toys for Bob made uh, Spyro's Adventure, it was immediately obvious that it was it resonated with kids and it resonated with, with game players, and it has become a huge hit. It's obviously a very successful franchise, and it's nice to know that that, that Toys to Life genre um, could be so successful, and with success, you know you're going to get competitors, and um, we just wanted to focus on innovation. How do you keep moving the gameplay forward? How do you keep moving the experience forward so that it's new, it's fresh, it's exciting. There are new ways for kids to engage with these characters, new characters to bring into their collection, mm -hmm. and also 
bring their whole collection forward so that they don't lose any of that value that they invested over the last two years. Mm -hmm. That's what we focused on for Swap Force. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, it's been sort of stunning, stunningly successful, um, and, and yet it seems like there's still some territory to, to conquer or some new area areas to figure out, like say mobile games, mm -hmm. that uh, you guys could probably have a, a bigger presence there. Uh, right. And, uh, and probably also on the next-gen machines mm -hmm. as well. Well, Vicarious mm -hmm. Visions, we've been involved with the franchise uh, mm -hmm. since Skylanders Spire's Adventure. We made the 3DS game for Spire's Adventure. We made uh, the Skylanders Giants game for Wii U. But we also have released all of our mobile Skylanders titles as well. So Skylanders Cloud Patrol, Skylanders Lost Islands, mm -hmm. Skylanders Battlegrounds. Uh, well, not... You know, while not selling the billion dollars of revenue that the, the, the core console game, they've been very successful. They're extremely high-rated, very um, well-received games, and, and we've been able to uh, explore the edges of, of this franchise, the ways for m people to exp uh, interact with Skylanders, interact with the brand on new platforms. So mm -hmm. it's been really great to be part of that over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, uh, it's good to stay focused on what you're good at as well. Thank you very much, David. Cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm.